Let's look at how we can use Abscript to perform some formatting in our spreadsheet. So one of the things that we might want to do is create a couple of different functions that are going to automatically apply some formatting. We'll go ahead, we've already created a, a menu here, and if I you know, set this up, you can see here we've already got the, uh, the menu, and uh, we've got different options there. Now we created this one a little bit differently. Before we were using the UI and, and doing everything individually, creating individual items and creating individual submenus, but when we call create menu, that returns a menu object, and the add item actually also returns that same menu object. So we can use create menu dot add item dot add item dot add separator because this also returns the menu dot add item and that allows us to kind of repetitively add new items or new menu items to our menu so just a different technique for doing that but let's go ahead and we'll create a function that's going to take some input from the spreadsheet so the very first uh, cell here a1 we're going to go ahead and create a function that's going to change the tab color so we'll call that change tab just like we have specified in our menu there and the first thing we're going to do is get the color so var color is equal to spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get range and we can just say a1 and we're gonna get the value once we have that we can use spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot set tab color equal to color Oh, and let's go ahead and fix that code. Now, if we run this, we can go to my custom menu and change the tab color, and we could change this to say green, for example, and we can change the tab color. And you can see now that's gonna be green down here, and we could change this to a lot of different colors. Magenta, you know, if we change, change the tab color there, now that's gonna be a nice bright magenta color. Uh, we could even use something like black, you know, so now we can go to my custom menu and change the tab color. So you can see we can change the formatting of that tab pretty easily just using just getting the sheet and calling set tab color. So we can make that a little bit more interactive, a little bit more interesting. Let's see if we can make a column resize automatically. You know, if we type a bunch of code in, you know, one it's going to be kind of annoying, you know, sometimes that overlaps and then if we have numbers here, you know, they're always going to kind of cut off our code. So uh, it'd be really nice if we could just automatically resize columns uh, instead of having to try to grab them or double click them or you know we could even modify it so that we use the on edit function or on edit on edit event to automatically resize our columns as necessary but let's go ahead and create this resize column function and in this resize column function we'll start off by getting the range uh, we're going to go to we're going to use spreadsheet app dot get active range to retrieve that range and then we're going to use uh, a, another call called spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot auto resize column and that takes a column position so let's go ahead and figure out which columns we want to resize because in a perfect world you know we would always only get one uh, column but we could also cl click multiple and, and have all of them uh, or want to resize all of them too so let's go ahead and get the first row or first uh, column uh, we'll call that variable first column is equal to range dot get column then we'll get the var last column and we'll set that equal to range dot get last column and now we just need to use a, a really simple loop uh, we can use for var i is equal to first column why and we're going to run this while i is less than or equal to last column i plus plus and then we'll just put this code right into a loop here and instead of using column position we will set auto resize column i so now if we pick a few different columns and we click resize column you can see we've automatically resized column D and we've automatically resized column C now if we only pick one here we will only resize one column so you can see and if we pick one of these we can automatically resize that one again so resizing is something that we can do programmatically using spreadsheet app and you can use that do that right on the active sheet now what if we want to apply some weird special formatting to a cell? Let's go ahead and try to create a function for that as well. Format cell, and we're going to do a few things. Let's go ahead and set the border. So we are going to use, uh, or we can use uh, the spreadsheet app that get active range. And 
we can use a few different uh, few different set methods here. So we can use something like um, set background. You know, maybe we want to make the background instead of make the background white, we want to make it black. And then we can change the text. Let's go ahead and get that range. Make this a little bit easier. Range dot set background black. Range dot set text or set font color. We'll make that white. So we'll we'll invert it instead of black text on white background. We'll use a white text on black background. So now if I select a cell and I go to format cell, you'll see that automatically changes things. Now we can do a couple of other things as well. Instead of just the font or the background and the color, we can use range.set font size and maybe we want to make it bigger so we can make it 24. And now if we pick another cell and we use that format cell, you can see that makes that bigger. In fact, we could even use, you know, the we could call resize column now to make it bigger as necessary. So now if we pick one of these and we call my custom uh, menu format cell, that's going to automatically increase the size of that as well. So you can see how we're chaining things together to make this more and more interesting. Uh, you know, you can do more and more with this automatically. Range.set font weight, we can make it bold if we like. So we can pick this last one that we haven't changed again. We can pick format cell and make that one bold. We can even set borders, you know, so we could say, uh, let's go ahead and create a border on this. So range.set border. Now, the set border is a little complicated. It's got a lot of parameters, but we're going to pass a Boolean for true or false. Or if we don't want to change it at all, we can also pass in a null. So if we said something like, well, we want a true for the top. Let's go ahead and see those parameters again, just so we can keep the order straight. So we're going to say top. Maybe we want uh, a new border for the top and bottom. True, null, true, null. And if we just leave it at that and call this, you know, we'll, we'll pick out another value here, five. We'll just go ahead and pick five, and uh, we can use format cell. So we need to actually fill in these other values so there are more than just four parameters. Uh, it is, then we also have a vertical and a horizontal border, border as well. So, oh, we forgot a column, or a comma. So let's try this again. My custom menu, format cell, and now we have borders. Now you can't see them because they are they are also black, so that's a little less interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and try that again. We'll say set border, and instead of uh, so we can also get the color and the border style here as well. So let's go ahead and change these to a green border, and we'll pass in null to not change the border style. So let's go ahead and try this again. And those are that one's a little bit hard to see too. Let's try magenta so that we can see that a little bit more boldly. And you can see that a little bit better. You can see that you know is sticking out a little bit. And if we wanted to do the top and bottom as well, or the left and right as well, we can change that to true and true. And we can call our function through format cell. And there you can see that a little bit better. Now, the reason why we do uh, true, false, and null is let's say there's already a border here. Let's say we already have a border. Let's go ahead and create a border around all of these cells. And let's make that border red. Oh, that was fill. Let's go ahead and make the border red. So we'll go ahead and make this line color red. Uh, oh, we will select this. We will pick all of these and we will make it red. There we go. So. Now this, this border on the top is going to be red. If we want to change all of these to, say, a blue border, but we didn't want to change the top, we can change this to null, and that will leave that unchanged. If we set that to false, it would actually s remove the border from that. So if we pick this, you know, pick any of these cells, we can even pick a new one here. We'll say, we'll put 10 in here. And if I call my format, well, now you can see 
this is blue on the uh, on the top but because I said this is a uh, because I set this to null uh, we're actually seeing the uh, we're not changing that particular that particular side of the border but if we were to leave these all as true or set some of them to false we'd actually see that there is no border at all so allows you to create a couple of different formatting options if there's something you want to format quickly this can be a pretty good way to kind of shortcut instead of going to the format painter uh, maybe you want to format you know based on what is there or what cell you're in or where you are in your spreadsheet you've got a lot of options for how you can change the contents and and interact uh, with the the formatting of your spreadsheet uh, using AppScript. script thanks for watching